If you're a home theater enthusiast, you're probably aware of how important a role the center channel speaker plays in a great home theater experience. In today's video, we'll give you some setup tips that will help you get the most out of your center channel speaker. Just watch a couple of minutes of a movie with the sound turned off, and you'll see why the center channel is probably the most important speaker in your home theater system. Almost all of the dialogue is mixed into the center channel track. Being able to hear the dialogue track clearly is a requirement for a good home theater. But if you can take things one step further and allow your center channel to perform as it should, you'll not only be able to hear the dialogue track, but experience the subtle emotional cues in the voices, which really draw you into the movie. This might take a little time and experimentation, but it's well worth it. Ideally, your center channel should be identical to your left and right speakers. Another great practice is to step up to a bigger center channel if you can stay within the same model series from a brand. The reason you want your left, right, and center to match is to keep the sound very consistent as things pan across the screen. So if you have some great left and right speakers but are using a leftover or hand-me-down center channel, do yourself a favor and upgrade to one that matches your main speakers as close as possible. Once you've got the ideal center channel speaker for your home theater or media room, it's very important to properly position it to get the best performance. Center channel speakers come in all kinds of shapes, from in-wall to on-wall, or to a conventional speaker like this one. First, your center channel should be positioned as close as possible to the height of your ears. For most systems, this will put the center channel speaker either below or above your flat panel TV. If you have a front projection system, it will normally go under the screen or above the screen angled down towards the seating area. If you're lucky enough to have an acoustically transparent projection screen, position the tweeter of the center channel speaker at the exact same height as your ears, which is usually about 38 to 42 inches off the ground. If your center channel speaker is freestanding, putting it on a dedicated center channel speaker stand is ideal, but not always possible. Many center channel speaker stands angle the speaker so it aims the drivers at your ears. In most media rooms, your center will probably wind up either on top or inside a cabinet. If you do have to put it on top of or inside a cabinet, make sure you use the rubber feet that normally are supplied with the speaker to help isolate it from the cabinet. These are also available at a hardware or building supply store. Also, if it's inside a cabinet, position it as close as possible to the front of the cabinet, and please don't obstruct the front of your center channel with a door grid or something. Once you've picked out the best center channel and properly positioned it, you still need to make sure your home theater receiver or surround sound processor is properly calibrated. Many people skip this step, as you do get sound without calibration, but getting this right can make a huge difference in the sound you get. Most modern home theater receivers now come with a microphone to allow the receiver to both auto calibrate and in some cases, improve the sound with room equalization. Be sure to read the instructions for the microphone and follow them closely, paying special attention to where the system asks you to place the microphone. Most systems want you to have the microphone pointing towards the ceiling. We suggest you do this first, then fine tune the results from the calibration. After you run the calibration, First, make sure the distances the system thought it heard are accurate. Just use a tape measure and adjust any that are off. We find many new home theater receivers are getting better at distances, except with subwoofers, those are usually off by several feet. For more calibration tips and tricks, make sure you visit our blog and video linked in the description below. In our blog, we go into much more detail on how to fine tune your center channel speaker for best performance, including how to set the best crossover frequency. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and consider subscribing to our channel. On our channel, we review amazing new technology from all around the world. Thanks for watching.